I am, hello, hello everybody. I'm actually streaming this on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube all at the same time. So hello to everybody who's watching this on Instagram. Hello to everybody who's watching this on YouTube and on Facebook too. If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, you've got a much higher definition. So I hope you appreciate that. But I wanted to let everybody on Instagram kind of see a bit of behind the scenes. So you guys are sitting up there. If you want to take part in the cruise trivia, feel very, very welcome. So hey, everybody, we are here for week 16. It is a heat wave here in the UK. It's absolutely boiling. I am so hot. I'm sitting on the floor because this is the coolest part of my house, but it is so hot. It reached 35 degrees here today, which in Fahrenheit is almost 100, which I appreciate. We have Americans in the audience and you guys say to me, 100 isn't hot. In the UK, 100 is so hot. We have no air conditioning. There's no airflow through my house and I'm so unbelievably warm. But I'm sitting here on the floor. This is the best place. I've got two drinks uh, to try and get me through the next hour. So we've got 15 questions I've spent today preparing for this cruise trivia and I hope that you're going to enjoy it. It's very interesting to be broadcasting this on Instagram at the same time as Facebook and YouTube but you guys are just getting a bit of a behind the scenes look at what a trivia is like because we've been doing this since mid-March I think and thank you so much to everybody who's come back week after week. I've got some photo questions for you. The majority are just text-based questions. Hey to everybody who is joining me. David says 100 is hot. It is. It's very, very hot, especially without air conditioning. I don't have a fan. I've got lights on here. I have left the door open, but I'll close it if it gets too noisy outside. I'm a bit worried about kind of my laptop overheating or my phone, stuff like that, but if you're ready, I think we're going to jump straight into the cruise trivia. Thank you to John, who says it's his highlight of his week. Thank you so much for coming back time and time again. I'm pretty sure we've had some people who've been in this trivia every single week since March, apart from me, which is very, very impressive. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mr. Wigan Dave says it's only 24 in the Northwest, not complaining as 30 plus is too hot. It is way too hot. Or we've got people joining us from New York. Hurricane blew out the electricity. I hope everybody in New York is okay. I do feel bad complaining about the weather here in the UK because it really isn't that bad. It's just very, very warm. But I'm glad to be here. This is the highlight of my Friday too. So thank you all for coming back time and time again. It feels like quite a long time since we've done cruise trivia. It isn't. We've just had a few guests on here recently. So if there are any people you want to see, come on my live as a guest please do let me know and i'll try and convince them to come and talk to us tommy says do we answer in the chat you're welcome to answer in the chat we've got 15 questions we're going to go through all of the questions people always answer in the chat people answer write it down write it on your phone do whatever you like and then we'll go through the questions again i'll ask for answers we'll put up the correct answers so you can see your name on the screen if you get it right and then we can see how many you get out of 15 I'm pretty sure every week we've had somebody who's got 15 out of 15. Normally it's Mr. Wigan Dave and I see he's in here. He's not at work today. So <laughs> we've got someone who's probably going to get a 15 out of 15. I've made some of these very hard though. I've made an effort to make these difficult. How is Hudson coping with this heat? Uh, <laughs> he's just sleeping. He looks like he's kind of been turned off because he just flops down. Um, but he's all right. He can go out, he can come back. He's upstairs at the moment. I don't think we'll see him because it's too hot here for him. I have a light on, which is making this extra warm. Um, but I wanted you guys to be able to see me. There's not much point us doing this in the dark. I have bought a new light. If you watch today's YouTube video, you'll notice I'm in beautifully lit now. So, right, should we get on with the trivia? <laughs> okay, up for the challenge, Mr. Wigan Dave. Let's go with question number one which is which of the norwegian cruise line ships is registered to the us there is only one norwegian cruise line ship registered to the us most cruise ships don't register where they actually are um so this one really is kind of a bit strange i've been doing a lot of research this week into flags and i wrote a post on my website about flags so flags are fresh on my mind 
Tim says, talk to Don from Don's Family Vacations. That would be fantastic. I love Don. I spoke to him once when I did a 12 hour live stream. That's the only time I've spoken to Don, but he is a lovely, lovely person. So maybe I'll ask him um, if he has the time to talk to me. Princess sent me a new bottle because my bottle broke. So thank you to them. I think I'm at danger of dribbling <laughs> when I drink from this bottle. So if I do dribble it everywhere, then I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm, I'm thirsty and hot today. Hello to everybody who is watching on Instagram. It's very strange to have you guys up there. Um, head over to YouTube if you can, because you guys on YouTube have got this in HD. You can see the questions and I have some photos too. So that won't be much good if you're on Instagram. Sorry, I'm late. I had chores. That's okay. Thank you so much for joining me. All of these are available after the time for as long as YouTube exists. So if you do miss something, you can just go back. Okay. So question one is, which of the Norwegian cruise line ships is registered to the US? Question number two is, what is a cabin crawl? You will know if you've ever been on a cabin crawl. I haven't. But the question is, what is a cabin crawl? Kim says, drink a lot of fluids. I am drinking a lot of fluids. I've got two drinks here right now. Um, and this lovely one from Princess. This one has got apple and blackcurrant squash in it. And I'm also drinking water because it's actually so, so warm. Absolutely boiling. I hope you've all had an okay week. Things are just pretty much the same here in the UK. Nothing really, really changes. Nothing really changes for anyone at the moment, does it? I have seen, um, if you watch today's latest YouTube video, some cruises are trying to go ahead. Things are trying to get back to normal. Uh, some more successful than others at the moment, but I'm happy to see any kind of progress and anyone kind of trying to cruise again. <laughs> Kathy says, sorry, and my daughter just delivered me a PIMS back shortly. I think that's a fantastic reason to uh, take a little break from this. Okay, cool. I I'm not sure if cabin crawls will happen in the future either but you can read the question how you like maybe what was a cabin crawl if you don't think they're going to happen in the future mm, they might not but i'm not going to say anything else because otherwise i will give away the answer so on question number three we have got how many meters squared is the average inside cabin i threw this one in here because i thought this one would be difficult I made a post recently on my website about the sizes of inside cabins, outside cabins and balcony cabins, you know, comparing them. I actually compared them to my home. I looked at the size of my bedroom and my bathroom and at home it's actually smaller than on a cruise, which is possibly why I don't mind the inside cabins. Um, I think it depends what you're used to. I know we have much smaller houses here in the UK than a lot of you guys in America. So maybe, maybe we're just used to it, but how many meters squared? That's a really tricky one. I see lots of answers. It's not feet squared. I'm, I'm not putting this in, in American for you. Um, it is meters squared. So how many meters squared? Americans having to do the maths to figure out what a meter is. I've seen, yeah, I've seen some answers that are very, very close. Um, I think if you get within a meter either side, I'm going to give you this one because if you just know this, I mean, I do, but most people probably don't know this. Hi, Instagram. We've got somebody who's watching on Instagram and on YouTube, I saw there. That is dedication, <laughs> both Instagram and YouTube. Yeah, I, I just thought I'm already live for an hour. We might as well let the guys on Instagram see what we're doing and try and encourage some of them to come across to YouTube where you can see things in better definition and you can be part of the conversation. I'm not looking at any questions or anything on Instagram. I can't read it from here. So if you want to come onto YouTube, I'll try and answer your questions if I can see them. Uh, if you want a super sticker or something, it comes up bigger, but I'll try, but I have got questions to get through. So no Googling, absolutely no Googling, no. Hey, Emily, thank you for joining us. We are on to question number four now, which is a picture and it is on which cruise line will you find this cabin? There is a clue in there, and this is the picture. I'm not saying anything about this one because I'll definitely give it away. If you're watching on Instagram, you're not going to be able to see the picture. So please head to YouTube. It's just Emma Cruises on YouTube, and we do this trivia every single week. Well, 
every other week we do a trivia and every other week we pretty much have a q a or a guest on here so head to emma cruises on youtube so that is the picture just tell me which cruise line it belongs to if you want to tell me which ship it belongs to i know some people can do that then go ahead and do that um no bonus points though you're just going to get a point for telling me the cruise line okay fantastic on to question number five i think <laughs> which country are the cruise line hertegruten from You've probably seen, if you've seen any cruise news recently about a cruise that Herta Gruden took, they broke some rules, they didn't follow their own guidelines, they had positive coronavirus cases on board in the crew and the passengers, it went pretty badly. Um, but where are they from? What country is Herta Gruden from? Cindy says, I recognize the picture on the wall. Now that is good because that picture is, I mean, it doesn't really say much about the cruise line, but if you recognize it, uh, that's pretty good. We've got loads of answers coming in here now. Loads of answers, loads of people who have absolutely no clue. Uh, Jenny says safety protocols must be watertight. Yes, they must be watertight. It's very frustrating. They just didn't follow their own guidelines. And if they did, this possibly wouldn't have happened. There have been other cruise lines that have tried the same thing. They followed the rules and they've been fine. Um, it's just frustrating. It's not what the cruise industry needs at all, especially not right now. Sean says, Pre please press the like button. Thank you, Sean. Thank you for being here on the live and thank you for being such a member of our Facebook group. I really appreciate it. If you're on Facebook and you want a place where you can just chat about cruises and share photos and share stories and just a nice little happy piece of the internet, it's cool. Cruising isn't just for old people and join us in there. It'd be really nice to have you. And Sean is in there all the time. So thank you, Sean, for everything you do for our lovely little community. <laughs> the card of the ship name was visible on the nightstand. Yeah, there was a little clue in there. <laughs> Simon says he's trying to beat his record this week and get two correct answers. I hope that you can get two correct answers, Simon. I've tried to put these kind of arranged. Some of them are much easier than others, um, but hopefully everybody has some cruise line or some place uh, that they know about. I've tried to do kind of British questions, American questions, big cruise lines, small cruise lines, trying to get a little bit for everybody in there. But of course, that's hard to do. Okay, cool. Yeah, I miss cruising too. I miss cruising so much. Jason says, Emma, my mother talked to Princess last week and they said they expect to get back sailing December 15th. I think that's quite realistic. I think we're looking at the end of the year now for getting back to cruising. Um, we will probably see some cruises at the end of this year, but they're going to be very different from what we're used to. I I don't know if you guys saw my video I put out last week. It was from my friend Dario, and he talked to us, and he shared what his cruise was like. He took a cruise on the Mind Shift 2. And the comments on that video, if ever you want just some entertainment, head to that video. There's 900 comments and something now. Oh, <laughs> I don't reply to the majority of comments. I try and reply to all the nice ones and I try and ignore all of the mean ones. Um, I have channel memberships on my YouTube now, so it flags up certain people as being channel members, which is really cool. I think you should see a join button underneath this video. YouTube is playing funny games with me today. It put 21 ad breaks into one of my videos. I'm all for, you know, one, um, but 21 seems a bit extreme. Unbelievable comments. Yeah, that, uh, I just let everybody bicker, have a little fight there. I just let them just watch it, but yeah. Haters gonna hate. Yeah, I mean, it's not so much that they hate me, they just hate the idea of uh, what cruising is now. But I think if you're gonna go on a cruise, you have to follow the rules of the cruise line, I think. Otherwise, they're going to kick you off, aren't they? So, yeah. Ignore them haters and show love to lovely comments. Yeah, I always try. That's what I think. I think I haven't got time to reply to everybody at all. So I'm going to reply to the people who are nice to me. I think that makes sense. Maybe one day if I have all of the time in the entire world, uh, I'll try and talk to the people that aren't nice. But I don't really see the point. 
Okay, let's move on to question number six. It is, on which cruise line was this photo taken? And it is a photo of me. There it is. I'm going to say nothing about this because I will give that away so easily. What I normally do is I put a picture on the screen and then I just chill out. Uh, maybe have a drink or something, but now everybody on Instagram can see me. So that's a little bit odd. I made them a little sign on Instagram that says go to YouTube. Not sure if you guys can see that, but hey, if you're on Instagram, thanks for joining me there. So that picture on which cruise line is that? Have to check out those comments yeah just honestly if you just need cheering up just go there and have a look at some of the comments they're quite funny um i sometimes like them if i agree with them but yeah yeah i thought the sign would appear backwards on instagram um but i really had i i thought about this at about 20 seconds too so if people want to come it's like a puzzle they can work out where to go i think my i mean my youtube name is the same as my instagram name so people should be able to work it out, I think. And if not, then, then fine. I have a question that says, what is your first cruise of 2021? I'm supposed to be on p and Iona in January. I'm supposed to be cruising to the Canary Islands, which will be fantastic. Uh, what will happen with that? I don't know. Where we will go? I don't know. I think we'll be cruising again by then. I hope so. So... Fingers crossed, I'm happy if they completely change the itinerary, if they change everything. I'm still happy to go on a two week cruise in January. So we will see, uh, we'll see what happens there. So yeah, question six is on which cruise line was that photo taken? That photo of me. Question number seven is, which new Royal Caribbean ships delivery has been delayed from November, 2020 to April, 2021? I would love to cruise on the Queen Mary too. Me too, I really, really would. Emma says, you will be on Iona. I'll be on Iona at some point. I'm really hoping that it is um, January. I'm really, really hoping so. It's an amazing itinerary, it was a fantastic price. Fingers crossed, once 2020 is over, I think we're gonna need a cruise more than anything. So which new Royal Caribbean ships delivery has been delayed from November 2020 until April 2021? I see some answers in the comments. Not going to comment if they're right or wrong, but the answers are there in the comments. It's nice to see that the majority of you are on YouTube. This is on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram all at the same time. If you can come over to YouTube, it's just easiest um, because you can see the live chat there, and Facebook can be a bit a bit buggy. But yeah. Okay, let's move on to question number eight now. Question number eight is. What is the name of Disney's fifth cruise ship? What is it going to be? It is going to be delivered in 2021 and is planning to sail in 2022. As far as I know, Disney haven't released a ship for, I don't know, quite a long time. Um, since I've been in the cruising vlog world, they haven't released any new ships. This is very exciting. The thing about Disney is Disney cruises are expensive because Disney cruises can be expensive. People will pay that price. Their ships fill up, fill up. Regardless, their cruises are gonna be full up. So it's very difficult to get a Disney cruise on a budget. If you know me, you know I am a budget cruiser. So that's why I haven't cruised with Disney yet. I think I'd really like it, uh, but yeah, pricey. Pricey because it can be pricey. People will pay that price, so they're gonna charge that price. The best way really to get the cheapest Disney cruises is to just do it so far in advance as soon as the itineraries come out because they rarely get cheaper because, you know, it just gets full up. I have no idea. I don't keep up with their ships. No kids. Yeah, I know so many adults who love Disney cruises without children. I sort of, I mean, Disney kind of has a lot of children on board, doesn't it? And I would prefer to cruise without uh, children everywhere so that's probably another reason why i haven't uh cruised with disney yet but i definitely would everything on board looks amazing but yeah we'll see we will see joey says it'll probably be worth paying the extra buck for a disney cruise especially after having no holidays this year yeah i don't know about you but for me it's made me feel more like oh, just book it just book it we have no idea what's coming you might as well book that cruise 
worst case scenario, the cruises I've booked for 2021 will be cancelled and I'll have credit and I will rebook another cruise. Um, the deposits on the cruises I've booked for 2021 were really, really small. Most of them were less than £50, around £50, and most was £100. So I'm kind of loaning P&O £50 in the hope that I can go on a cruise in January. I hope that they don't make me pay the full balance and then cancel the cruise, just like Morella did. I paid the full balance seven days before they cancelled the cruise, which was a bit annoying. But I've had that money back now. I've had the money back from Morella, so it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Our Disney cruise was like a floating daycare centre. Yeah, see, I, I don't think I'd like that too much. Paul says, are they a lot better than other cruise lines? Are you just paying for the name? Uh, I think they're very high quality. I think they have great food. I think they have great service. I think they have great ships. And the entertainment, of course, is at Disney standard, which you're going to have to go on a Disney cruise to get. It is, of course, they have the rights to everything Disney. So they can do, you know, they can do Tangled the Musical. They can do things from their Disney shows. Uh depends who you ask people who love disney cruises really love disney cruises and wouldn't cruise anything else but i can't tell you that yet maybe one day i'll let you know okay let's move on to the next question the next question is question number nine and it is according to clear what was the average age of a person on a cruise in 2019 2019 the average age of a person on a cruise I have all of these questions on my website too. Um, so if you ever want just some cruise trivia, but you can't come to these lives, I've got all of the questions and answers on there. Don't go on there now and look up the answers. That's not what it's for, um, but it helps. I might as well write them down. I've got all of these in my brain. Amazingly, this is trivia number 16 and I thought of 15 or 20 questions per week for 15 weeks. So we've learned a lot. If you've been here since the beginning, learn a lot. We've got a variety of answers here, ranging ranging dramatically. Um, I'm yet to see the right one, though. This is across all cruise lines. Of course, some cruise lines have much older average ages than others, but this is across all of the cruise lines. I see the correct answer now, so I'm going to move on. Okay, question number 10 is a picture question, and it is, what are these beds that come down from the ceiling called and there is the photo just gonna say hello to everybody who's on instagram right now thank you for watching this it's really nice to see you there um this this trivia goes on for around an hour so hello you don't have to watch it all on instagram i just thought i would show you on instagram a bit of behind the scenes head over to youtube it's called emma cruises appreciate this sign is backwards but i did my best so what is the name of these beds Let's get rid of that picture. Okay, cool. I'm not saying anything because I'm gonna get I'm gonna give that one away. Um, um yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to guide you guys in the right way without uh, telling you the answer, but it's it's not a word I've ever heard used on land. I think it's to do with trains. Don't know if that gives it away. I think it's train, train related word. Hello to my mum who's just joined me. I saw my mum earlier. Um, thank you for coming to see me, mum. I assume I'll see you soon again. <laughs> you know, the sun has actually gone in here and it's kind of cooled down a little bit, which is so good. Um, I'm sitting on my feet and they're going pretty dead, so I might have to wiggle around in a minute. I don't, I think everyone on Instagram can see my legs. Oh, there we go. But that's all right. <laughs> okay, cool. It's so cool down here on the floor. I apologize for doing this on the floor. Not that I don't think it should make a difference to your viewing, um, but this is the coolest place to be and it's so cool. But I do have a new light. I have a new ring light. I bought it with money from my patrons. So thank you so much to my patrons. I know we've got a few of you guys in here. This is what I invested it into. I invested it into a uh, ring light, a very, very cool ring light. The rain is coming your way. It's in South London. Uh-oh, if it starts raining, I'm going to have to go close the door or uh, the rain's going to come in. Hey to Wanda, hey to everybody who is in here. We've got 114. It's fantastic to see you. If you could give this a like and uh, just keep commenting, that would be fantastic. 
Let's move on now to question number 11, which is, where are celebrity cruise ships flagged? Where are they flagged? They're flagged in this place, partly so that they can do uh, same-sex marriages on board. Interesting fact. I didn't realise that they couldn't do that with the place that they were flagged before, but they had to change their flags, um, and now they can do same-sex marriages on board, which is fantastic. David says, you deserve to be comfortable. Thank you. <laughs> I really should sit on a seat. I really shouldn't sit on the floor. I do. I work from home now, and I work from home from the floor um, most of the time. This is just where I'm comfortable. And I thought Hudson may, might maybe join us, but I'm out of dreamies. I'm out of dreamies right now, so Hudson's not going to join us. All right, I see some right answers here. And some wrong answers. I see some right answers and some wrong answers. So let's move on. Yeah, sorry, Liam Hudson uh, is probably not going to come here without dreamies. Um, it's too hot. My MacBook sounds like it's about to take off. Apologies for that. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. At least you can still see me because I have this new light. Still got my sunglasses on my head, but hey, it keeps my hair out of the way. <laughs> okay, so moving on to the next question, which is 12. Which cruise line runs mystery cruises where the destinations are unknown to guests? I'm still fancying one of these, you know? I know I've been talking about it for a while, um, but I, I quite fancy a mystery cruise because, I don't know, I've done a few cruises now, surprisingly, and uh, it'll be nice to go on one where I don't know where it's going. I don't really book cruises for the specific ports anyway. Uh, if you've ever been on a cruise, you know that ports can change all the time. So, yeah. I can just see comments up there from Instagram. Thank you to everybody in the sky on Instagram. I can't read anything you're saying, but it's nice to see you anyway. Come over to YouTube and uh, join join the dark side of YouTube. I've seen on Instagram now they've got these kind of basically like TikTok, but on Instagram. I'm not sure if I'm going to get into making videos like that. I'm not sure, but maybe, maybe I will. Cindy says, I didn't even know mystery cruises were a thing. Yeah, mystery cruises are a thing. Um, there's, there's two types, I think. There's one where you know uh, you know where you're going and it's like you could stop in port A or B and then you stop in port A or B. And there's one where you, you literally just know, get on this day, get off this day, and you have no idea where you're going. No idea. You don't know. It could be going up the country, down the country, sideways. It could be going nowhere. <laughs> Sean says, have you ventured to a pub yet? No, and I don't feel the need to. Um, I used to go to the pub a lot, but I used to go a lot because I was working. And when I was working, we would just go to the pub on lunch and after work, not before work. Um, but now I don't, I haven't been to the pub, no, no. It's been so lovely here anyway, uh, that being outside is just fine. Okay, fantastic. We have got another question which is 13 and it is being on MSC's loyalty program gives you what percent discount on all cruises? Well worth being on this, this loyalty scheme. I think you can join straight away. You don't have to have a certain amount of cruises in order to get the 5%. So just sign up before you book your MSC cruise. I think it's that easy. Um, yeah. Michael says, how would you know whether to pack a coat or shorts? You wouldn't know whether to pack a coat or shorts. You would just just pack everything, I suppose. I mean, realistically, if I knew I was going on a mystery cruise from the UK for seven nights, it's going to rain in pretty much any direction. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it'd have to be a longer cruise for you not to know if you're going to go to Hawaii or Alaska, something like that. That would have to be a very long cruise. So I'm pretty sure you know. So the question is, being in MSE's loyalty program gives you what percent discount on all cruises? Every cruise, no, there's no terms and conditions on that, really. You just get a discount. That is fantastic. I have a status with MSC of black, which is very good um, because I matched from Norwegian. Black is the second to top. I think diamond is the top now, but I'm happy being second to top. It gets me free food, lots of free food. So that's good. Okay, question number 14 is next, and that is Viking Cruises celebrated a birthday yesterday. How old are they? 
My mom says you told us the answer. I don't know if I told you the answer. If I did, I'm sorry. Then at least you get one answer. Kim says stay out of the pubs. Oh, uh, yeah. I I just don't think it's worth going to the pub. I'm quite happy. Honestly, I think I've adapted to this way of life uh, really well. I'm working from home. It's fine. I don't want to go back to the office. So it's okay. I've had quite a lot of takeaways since this. I had, oh, I got some takeaway brownies today. Absolutely incredible. So good. I've got eight types of brownies. I've got, I can't even name them to you. One of them is Jammy Dodger. If you're from the UK and you like Jammy Dodger biscuits, I've got Jammy Dodger brownies and mini egg brownies. I've got Twix brownies, Toblerone brownies. Any type of brownie you want. They're fantastic. And they came through the post. They came through the post this morning. So good. Okay, one more question. The last question is, this is this is not the question. This is not the question. I changed this and this is wrong. So you're not gonna see this on the screen. I'm just gonna read it out to you because it doesn't wanna change 50. And it is, what percentage of norovirus cases happen on a cruise? Ignore number 15. That's not what number 15 is. That was from last time. The question is, what percentage, oh, you can see my sign. Uh, what percentage of norovirus cases happen on a cruise? That is the question. Question number 15. Ignore the one. My mum says, Toblerone brownies. Brownies sound amazing. Yeah. Vikings were around 793 AD. So I'm going to say that cruise line is very old. I don't think so. I don't think that counts. If you went on a cruise and it was kind of a Viking boat, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. Cool. So the question is, what percentage of norovirus outbreaks are on a cruise? This is surprising, but I see some people are following me on Instagram and Facebook where I did share this yesterday. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's called Emma Cruises. Hello to everybody who's watching on Instagram um, because I shared the, the, the statistics there, which is it's very surprising. I had a lot of comments from people who confused my post with um, coronavirus. I'm not talking about coronavirus, I'm talking about norovirus, the nasty, upset tummy vomit in the in the bathroom kind of bug. Okay, so let's go back to question number one now, which is which Norwegian cruise line ship is registered to the US? If you know the answer, shout it out in the comments and I will put a correct answer on the screen. <laughs> Michael says the buffet in seven. 93 AD was actually still alive and you had to catch it and eat it. <laughs> I would I would starve. I don't think I'm a very good hunter. The answer is yes, it is Pride of America. Pride of America, yes. And makes sense, Pride of America. To be registered a cruise ship in for a cruise ship to be registered in a certain country, it kind of has to be built there. And what Norwegian did is they bought some parts of this ship from someone else and it was bought in it was being made in america they flew those parts to germany because most of the shipyards that build cruise ships are in germany or italy and it was built there but like through a technicality they kind of agreed you can be us flagged if you if you want but that means they have to have a certain percentage of american workers on board they have to pay american minimum wage which is nothing compared to uk minimum wage but it means they they have to do things like pay overtime, which they wouldn't have to do if they got their staff from somewhere else. So that's why most most cruise lines don't flag their cruise ships in America. If you're interested in the flag thing, then head to emmacruises.com forward slash flags because I've been researching flags. I think it's very, very interesting. So well done to everybody who put Pride of America. That is your answer. Question number two is what is a cabin crawl? Any guesses on a cabin crawl? I've never done one. Never been on a cabin crawl. Never been on a cabin crawl. Kim says the pride goes all over Hawaii. Yes, she does. She is exclusively in Hawaii, Pride of America. I did Hawaii on a Pride of Aloha, as she was called. She's Norwegian Sky now. Pride of Aloha, she was called. So what is a cabin crawl? That is question number two. Any guesses on that one? I'm gonna just explain this because there's gonna be a thousand different ways to explain it. 
It's basically where a group of people get together and they agree that they're going to go around and look at everybody else's cabin. So if you're like me, you always stay in an inside cabin and you want to have a look around a balcony cabin or a suite, that's basically what a cabin crawl is. Everybody meets up, they agree. On some cabin crawls, you'll find people who do drinking games, you'll find people who do, uh, sometimes people even gamble. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's what it is. It's pretty much just people organised to go and have a look at everybody's cabins. They become friends. Whether this is gonna happen in the future, I don't know because the idea of having 20 people all going around and squishing into the same cabin, cabins aren't very big. So not sure if this will happen again, but that is what a cabin crawl is. It's like a bar crawl pretty much, but it's cabins. So question three is how many meters squared is the average inside cabin? I put this one in here and I think this is the most difficult. I know it off the top of my head now because I've done so much research into this, um, but it's not really, it's, it's on all the cruise lines websites to be fair, when you do book a cruise it has all of these statistics, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you look at it, I don't look at it. Anyone else think a cabin crawl is a bit weird? I think it's a bit weird too, it's probably why I've never done one, um, but the idea of looking around cabins sounds very very interesting to me. Who it is 15? Yes, it is. Well done, Mr. Wig and Dave. If you put 14 or 15 or 16, I'm gonna let you have a point. So we've got a 16 here, you can have a point. I will guess 35. That would be massive in feet, yes, but in meters, 15 is the average. Or 14 from Claire, you can have 14. 14, 15, or 16 meters squared is what I'm going to accept. It's actually a pretty big space, I think. Um, I used to live in what we call a flat, which is an apartment, and it was much smaller than an inside cabin when I combined the square footage of my bedroom and my bathroom. You just you just get used to it, I suppose. So what's a meter? A meter is a unit of measurement. It is a proper unit of measurement. Um, here in the UK, we kind of, we, can't, we, we measure people in feet and we measure distances and stuff in meters. I don't know how tall I am in meters, from about five foot six. So we're kind of a bit half and half here. <laughs> okay, question number four now. Let's move on and say, on which cruise line will you find this cabin? And it is this picture. I took this last year, I took this last November, I think. Hello to everybody who is on Instagram. Hello to Emily, who is watching on Instagram and YouTube. Um, I just got talking to Emily this week. It's so nice to talk to you. Um, but yeah, watching this in two places at once, that is pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so that is the picture. On which cruise line will you find that? There's certain colors on there that, that give it away a little bit. Liam has got it. It is NCL, it is Norwegian. Does anybody know the ship? Anybody know the ship? If you do, then you can feel very, very smug, but it is Norwegian. Michael says, if America switched from pounds to kilos, there will be mass confusion. Yeah, there's, I mean, America, your use of Fahrenheit confuses 99% of other countries. So, I mean, that's fine. Um, but I'm constantly trying to work out what things are in Fahrenheit because nobody understands when I say it's 35 degrees Celsius. If you're from the UK, you know that is so hot. But I think in America, that's around 95 because I'm doing my research just because I'm always, I'm mostly talking to Americans. Uh, sometimes I say say American things. I don't mean to. It is Encore, yes. They do look, yeah, they do look pretty similar to MSC cabins. I really like the MSC cabins and I really like these cabins. So maybe that's why. That was a little joke actually. Well, oh, I get it in mass. Ha ha ha. <laughs> that was quite good, Michael. Sorry, I didn't understand your joke. But yeah, I mean, that makes sense on multiple levels. So that one was Norwegian Cruise Line. That is the answer. NCL is the answer to question number four. On question five, we've got which country are the cruise line Hertegruten from? Hertegruten, Hertegruten, been in the news a lot recently. If you've not seen today's YouTube video, definitely watch it after this one. I think even I got a bit annoyed. I've got record down thumbs on that video because I got a bit annoyed with people I suppose um but yeah oh Mike says they've just converted an office rock into flats each 45 
Each of the 45 flats are only 17 metres squared. Ooh, I think it's a studio flat. The answer is Norway. Yes, well done to everybody who put Norway. Well done to Chris and Kelly. I like your picture. That is very cruise related. I like that. Okay, cool. So the answer to that one is Norway. Question number six is, on which cruise line was this photo taken? And that is the photo. That is me. This was after I completed the blue nose ceremony. That little pool there was filled with ice. And I'm not saying it was water with ice in it. It was filled with ice, just bags of ice in that pool. If you're watching this on Instagram, you can't see my picture. I'm very sorry, but I do have a picture on my Instagram of this if you head to my profile. But this was a plunge pool full of ice. And what you have to do is you have to plunge into the pool full of ice. The captain puts that blue stuff on your nose. Then you take a shot of something which is disgusting. It tastes like it's like just medicine and fire and everything at the same time. It was horrible. And that's the ceremony you do when you go in or out of the Arctic Circle. The blue nose ceremony, it was called. Sometimes you have to kiss a dead fish. Didn't on mine, and I wouldn't have kissed a dead fish. That's disgusting. But the line is Viking. Yes, well done to Tim who got that one. Well done to everybody who got that. Michelle, fantastic. It is Viking, yes. And man, I miss that ship. That was two years ago I was on that cruise ship. And I still talk about it all the time because it was amazing. So question seven is on which Royal Caribbean ship, uh, which delivery of a Royal Caribbean ship has been delayed from November 2020 until April 2021? Sad news, but I don't think it's really that surprising. Shipyards are, of course, affected by this, just like everybody else. I'm really excited to cruise with Royal Caribbean again. I've booked Anthem of the Seas for next May, Norwegian Fjords. Even booked myself a balcony cabin. Cannot wait. Paul says, oh, Celsius to Fahrenheit, double and add 30. Is that right? That does work. I like that. That's good if that's right. <laughs> Michael says we eat dead fish. Why wouldn't we kiss one? Ew. <laughs> the answer is Odyssey of the Seas. Yes, well done to Mr. Wig and Dave and well done to everybody who got that one. It looks like quite a lot of you got that one. I think we have quite a lot of Royal Caribbean fans in the house. Um, Royal Caribbean fans love Royal Caribbean so much. All right, let's move on. Kim says she loves Anthem. I'm very glad. I'm very excited about it. Cannot wait. So next is question number eight, and it is, what is the name of Disney's fifth cruise ship that's going to be delivered in 2021 and sailing in 2022? They do have plans for more cruise ships. I think they've got two more to be confirmed coming, which is exciting, but this one has a name, and it is Disney's fifth cruise ship. Any guesses on the fifth cruise ship? It is Disney Wish. Yes, well done everybody who put Disney Wish. Disney Wish, Disney Wish, Disney Wish. They kind of had to have a wish, didn't they? That's a very Disney name, Disney Wish. <laughs> okay. Thank you to Emily, who seems to be moderating my Instagram up there. I can't see any comments on Instagram. I can just see Emily talking to people. Thank you, Emily. Um, Emily, if you'd like to be an admin on my YouTube, I could add you in. We've got some of our patrons in here who are admins, and uh, that's very much appreciated. Emily is one of my fantastic patrons. On Patreon, you can support me, and you get a podcast, you get behind-the-scenes stuff, you get to chat to me. So if you'd like to, then uh, look up Emma Cruises on Patreon. I really appreciate you guys who are in there. You make my life so much easier. So that one is Disney Wish. And question number nine is, according to Clea, what is the average age of a person on a cruise in 2019? If you get this within, I think if you get the exact answer or two either side, I'm gonna give you a point for this one because it's quite difficult. Ricky says, can you send me your patron? Uh, yes, I can't do it right now. Can somebody? please find my Patreon. I think it's just patreon.com forward slash Emma Cruises. If someone can find it and type it in the chat, that would be amazing because I mean, I'm sat down here on the floor and I have to be like, <laughs> which is a bit weird. 
So yeah, what is the average age of a person on a cruise in 2019? I'm not seeing the correct answer yet. I'm seeing within one. Mr. Wigan Dave, of course, 46. So if you got 46 or you got, I'm going to say 44, 45, 46, 47 or 48, those ones, you're going to have a point because, I mean, yeah. Cindy says, same with my original answer, 45. You get a point for 45. We've got answers in here ranging from 40 up to 65. I'm sure on some cruise lines, the average age is, I don't know, like 88. And on some cruise lines, if you go on certain cruise lines, you're going to have quite a young age. Um, I can't get, I cannot get rid of this comment. There we go. If you were to take a carnival cruise in spring break in the Caribbean, your average age is going to be way lower than if you take a Cunard cruise in November across the Atlantic. It does vary a lot. It's hard to find the right cruise line, but it's possibly the most important thing. I go into detail on how to find your specific cruise line in my paid program. It's called How to Cruise for Less. And if you head to emmacruises.com forward slash course, loads of information about that. I think it's so important that you find the right cruise line. Nothing is more heartbreaking for me than when someone comes to me and they said, I took a cruise and I hated it. Um, I hate formal dining and I picked a piano. I picked, you know, piano that has formal nights. And I'm thinking, you would be the perfect person to cruise with, say, Carnival, Royal Caribbean, one of those other cruise lines. But just getting people to pick the right cruise line is quite difficult. <laughs> Jeremy says, patreon.com slash Emma Cruises. I think that's what it is. I'm not sure if you can, if you're not allowed to type it in here, but I'm sure you can work it out from this. If not, I'll put it in here once this is done. So let's move on. The answer to that one was 46. And you can have 44, 45, 46, 47, or 48. On to question number 10, which is what are these beds that come from the ceiling called? This is kind of what do the cruise lines call them? Uh, I, the answer is not bunk beds. I'm not accepting bunk beds. Uh, I have a comment that says stop waffling. So I'm just going to block that person. Goodbye. I <laughs> I get comments all the time, really mean comments on, you know, people will come in my Facebook group and tell me what to do and I'll just kick them out because, you know, this is my space. I'm kind of opening myself up to you guys on the internet, I appreciate. Uh, but if you come into my space and just be rude to me, then I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. I call them a head injury, says Michael. They can be a head injury. Uh, they can be quite, quite dangerous. The answer is Pullman is what I'm looking for, Pullman beds. That is what the cruise lines call them. I think it's something to the trains. Is this something to the trains? Like a train bed? A bed on a train? That's all I've always thought. Uh, maybe it's not that, but cheapo beds. Yeah, cheapo bed is good. <laughs> Joanne says, you are not waffling. I mean, what do you expect when you come here for an hour trivia? I'm going to talk for an hour. I don't think that's a surprise. And honestly, I find it hard to get all of this done in an hour. But you guys have given me like an hour of your time. So I always make sure that I'm finished at the hour. So you can schedule your day. I like things to be kind of organized. This is going to happen then. That's what's going to happen. This is what you do. This is, you know, when it ends. I like events to have an end. So yeah, Pullman carriage is a bed carriage. Yeah, I think so. Mr. Pullman designed them. My mom says, yep, trains. <laughs> okay, cool. I want waffles of ice cream now. So question number 11 is, where are celebrity cruises ships flagged? So yeah, they changed this so that they could do same-sex marriages, which I think is fantastic. I'm not sure where they were before. Um, I think maybe they were registered in the Bahamas before and they couldn't do it when they were registered there. There's loads of things that the flagging affects. So I'm sure they didn't take this decision lightly, but they have flagged all of their ships in Malta. Yes, lovely, lovely Malta. I would like to go back to Malta sometime. If I had chicken and waffles, uh, kind of. I'm not a fan of the 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 American style chicken and waffles, really. I mean, I like chicken, I like waffles, uh, but yeah. Don't try and feed me like biscuits and gravy and stuff. No, thank you. America, you have some amazing food, amazing food. I love American food, uh, but the, the the biscuit sauce thing, ugh, <laughs> it's awful. So the answer is Malta. If you put the letter in Malta, then you can have that one. 
I've been to Malta a few times now. Um, when you do a cruise with MSC, a Mediterranean cruise with MSC, it does like a classic loop and it always stops in Valletta and that's just lovely. You can just get off and you can wander around by yourself. There's shops, there's, you know, forts and a big bell and loads of things to see. I've got my new ring light here. Not sure if you can see rings in my eyes. Maybe you can, but it's kind of attracting all of the bugs because <laughs> it's so bright. Not a problem for you guys, uh, just, just for me. Hey guys, you're on Instagram. Thank you for, thank you, Emily. Thank you so much. I just thought I would show you guys on Instagram behind the scenes what happens every single week. We do a Q&A or we do a trivia. Um, but yeah, if you're watching this on Instagram, thanks for watching. Question 12 is, which cruise line runs mystery cruises where the destinations are not known to the guests? Jeremy says, you look very pale in your new lights. Maybe I am very pale. I'm not. MSC are maintaining their ships in Malta now. Interesting. Can you do a shout out to my good friend, Nick? He is a big fan of your work. Hello, Nick. <laughs> thank you for watching this. And thank you for being a fan of my work. That's very nice. The answer is Fred Olsen. Yes, it is Fred Olsen. Well done to Chris and Kelly and everybody who else we put Fred Olsen. Fred Olsen are a British cruise line if you don't know who they are. And they do these mystery cruises, which I sound, I think sounds very cool. I actually went on the radio last year because a mystery cruise went somewhere and everyone complained about where it went. And I got to go on the radio to talk about, um, you know, I basically said, if you go on a mystery cruise, you can't complain where it goes. That's literally what you paid for. Uh, probably your cruises next year. Yeah, I think next year is a bit of a mystery. I booked three cruises for 2021. Very excited about it. But... I'm not holding my breath that they're going to go to certain places or certain things are going to happen. I think whatever it is. Uh, he asked if you could say his name. It's Nick Gur. I don't know how to pronounce your surname. Nick Gur? 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 Like a... <laughs> okay. If cruise lines required a COVID vaccine, would you be first in line? Uh, if there was a COVID vaccine, I would be first in line. The end. Regardless of if it had anything to do with cruising. Okay. Question number 13 is, being in MSC's loyalty program gives you uh, what percent discount on all cruises? There's no other cruise lines that do this that I know of. And also what MSC do is they let you match statuses from other cruise lines and hotels, which is really, really cool. I can't think of any other cruise lines that do that. And if you want to get just free stuff, who doesn't like free stuff? It is 5%, yes. And it's very easy to do, very easy to do. You just sign up. They give you a number, like a loyalty number. And then when you book a cruise, you just include that number and then the rest is history. Hudson's actually here right now. Hi, Hudson. I'm going to see if he wants to come and say hi. Come up here. He says no. <laughs> he says no. Oh, thank you so much for the super chat. Hi, Emma. I hope you're doing well. Have a safe and wonderful weekend. Thank you very much. And the same right back at you, the birds, two, four, five. If you can hear crunching, that's Hudson, he's crunching. Philip says Iona has been delayed again. I, they're supposed to get Iona in... Why is someone calling me racist? I'm obviously going to block you too. Um, I think I need more admins in here. So if anybody does want to become an admin on this channel, please just let me know. They're supposed to be getting Iona in November, I think. So fingers crossed by January, everything will be back to normal. Hudson's just having a snack. Maybe he'll come up here. Oh, I get it. He was trying to make me say a bad word. That's not really very funny. I thought that was a real person. That's a shame. Um, but okay. <laughs> okay, so the answer is 5%. Well done to everybody who got 5%. You may have that one. Okay, question number 14 is, Viking Cruises celebrated a birthday yesterday. How old are they? They're actually quite young by cruise line standards. But how old are Viking cruises? They're younger than me. If you know how old I am, I might give you a bit of a clue. How do I become an ad man? Please email me, emma at emmacruises.com. I would love to have you there, especially, <laughs> yeah, please, <laughs> please. Eddie says, I really love your YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Howdy from Texas. Hello from the UK, the south coast of the UK. 
you can't you can see Hudson if he wants to be seen, uh, but if he doesn't, then no. Hudson, go ahead. Oh no, he's gone the wrong way. Hudson, Hudson. He says, no. <laughs> they are twenty three. Yes, the answer is twenty three. What well don't you some? Oh, well don't you everybody who got twenty three? That's not a thing I would know. If you know that and you just got that right, then that's that's amazing. I tried to put in some difficult questions because I know somebody always gets 50 out of 50. I mean, 15 out of 15. Hudson's distracting me because he's right here and at any moment he can knock this over. Come here. He's looking at me like... <laughs> the answer is 23. If you've got 23, you can have a point for that one. Sorry, are these trivias every Friday? First timer, but loving this. They're every other Friday. Pretty much what I try and do is I try and do a trivia, then a Q&A and like a guest, and then a trivia. So every other Friday I do a trivia here, same time, same channel. Be fantastic if you can come back. Thank you so much for joining me for your first trivia time. So the answer to that one is 23. We've got one more question, which is the one that is not coming up on the screen. And it is, what percentage of norovirus cases happen on a cruise ship? Wow, my first right answer. That's fantastic. I sort of hope that everybody gets at least one. I've tried to make it so that everybody can get one because it doesn't mean you feel good if you get none. I've been to loads of cruise trivias on cruises and <laughs> sometimes I don't even tell anyone I'm playing because my answers are awful. Have you said with Carnival? I haven't. I booked a Carnival cruise for May and obviously that didn't happen. Eddie says, which cruise line is better, Royal Caribbean or Carnival? I can't really tell you. Depends who you are, depends what you like. Royal Caribbean have the bigger cruise ships, Norway, um, Carnival are cheaper. It's your choice. The answer is, yeah, Mr. Wing David is 0 0.2. 0 0.2. So if you put anything under 1%, 0 0.18, if you said anything under 1%, I will let you have that one. Because just trying to prove a point, norovirus gets this horrible reputation as being a cruise illness and something you only get on cruises, but less than 1% is on cruises. It's because cruise ships have to register all of this stuff. They have to report it. Whereas if you go to a bar or a restaurant on land, you get norovirus, you go home, you just think, oh, I just feel unwell, and then just get on with it, I think. So let me know how many you got out of 15. If anybody got 15 out of 15, I'll be very surprised and a little bit suspicious if you have been Googling it. It is crazy, isn't it, Cindy? You wouldn't think it. Um, that statistic came from the Cruise Line International Association. It was, I think, 2019 data, maybe 2018. But either way, less than 1% was on cruise ships. It's 60-something in hospitals and then schools and restaurants and all that other stuff on land but cruise ships have a bad reputation sometimes so we've got people who have got 13 11 4 12 14 mr wing and dave i'd like to know which one stumped mr wing and dave <laughs> hey to tony who has just joined me it's really good to see you we've got two minutes <laughs> remaining and then i'm gonna be off uh, anita dash but thank you this was great recently subscribed so we'll look out for your next q and trivia that is very kind thank you so much for subscribing and thank you for joining me here cindy says she wasn't keeping track but maybe five i would be happy with that i don't know how many of these i would get simon beat his record and got two that's fantastic very happy for you simon um i'm not sure how many i would get to be honest with you these are mostly things where i think i know something and i you know i i check these i definitely check these um, or I think, you know, oh, I do I do wonder this or that, um, Google it, and then I put the answers in trivia. So next week, I'm going to do a and a again, and then the week after that, I will do trivia. We'll be here in the same place. If you haven't seen today's video, check that out next. It's about so many things. It's about the Hurtigruten cruises that went wrong. It's about Sea Dream. It's about if I'm ready to cruise again next. You know, there's all kinds of things in that video because a lot has happened in the last week and it's kind of where do we go from here it's about MSE's future plans it's about them doing contact tracing using the wristbands 
it's about all kinds of stuff so definitely check out that one after this one i really appreciate you for joining me on trivia this hour just flies by it goes super fast i think the rain is coming um so i'm glad i had this light or you wouldn't have been able to see me at all <laughs> one week we should ask you trivia questions oh my goodness that would probably show me up hopefully i'll be all right at it i'm not sure Right, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for joining me. I will chat to you next next week. Next week or the week after or any week. I'm going to be here every week. See you later.